What's up guys, it's Judy here and you're welcome to Smartwatch Series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to enable ECG and blood pressure to work on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and Galaxy Watch 4. Recall that Samsung had introduced ECG to the Galaxy Watch Active 2 and subsequently they added blood pressure measurement on the Galaxy Watch 3. These two features are not available in every country of the world and presumably I think this is because of regulatory um, policies. And beyond that, for these two uh, features to work, you need the Samsung Health Monitor, which is only compatible with Samsung smartphones. So just like you, I have my Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here and there is no ECG and blood pressure measurement. So I was looking for a solution and I did find one. So the user that goes by the name Dante 63 has modified the Samsung Health Monitor app. With this modified version of the Samsung Health Monitor app, you can actually get ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and the Galaxy Watch 4. And in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through step by step on how to do this. Now for this particular process, we are going to need two apps. Look in the description, you're going to see um, links to the two files, okay? One says um, phone, one has a phone in its um, description. That is the one you're going to install on your phone and we're going to install that one first. Then the second file has watch in its um, description. That particular file will be installed on the watch itself. We will go ahead and install the phone app, okay, the phone uh, SHM. And after that, we will now install that of the watch. If you downloaded the file correctly, you should have these two files. One that says watch4 shm and the other one that says phone.wls so now we're going to first of all install that of um, the phone which is the one that says phone.wls just tap on this and um, this will try to install and then tap on install to install it so the app has finished installing what we need to do now is to tap on done okay um, you can open this later on after you have installed that of the watch so guys, we have um, installed the modified version of SHM to our phone. The next step right now is to install the SHM on the watch. But before we do this, we have to do some um, few configurations. So you just go to um, the settings app, tap on the settings app, and scroll down to where it says um, about watch, tap on it scroll down to where it says um, software tap on it now you need to double tap you need to tap on software version multiple times to enable developer mode so i'm going to tap on that multiple times okay so as you can see it says developer mode turned on so now go back to the main menu of the settings app and now we go to the top here and tap on connections turn off um, bluetooth Go back, turn on Wi-Fi. Okay. Now um, you need to connect the Galaxy Watch 4 to Wi-Fi. Now it says connected. I will go back. For this process to work, your phone and your watch must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I will go back again. Now go back to developer um, options, as you can see here. Tap on it. Scroll down to where it says um, ADB debugging, toggle it on, and then tap on this. Toggle on the bug over Wi Fi, tap on it. Okay, then go back again and tap on developer option to go back. So, what you want to do right here is to note this. Um, is to note the IP of your Wi Fi network. In my case, this is the IP of my Wi-Fi network. So you need to note this down. We'll be needing it um, later. Okay. So guys, in order to install the modified version of SHM to the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, you will need an app to do that. And in this case, this app called Bojaga Mobile ADB will help us do just that. So check the link in the description. You should see the Bojaga Mobile um, ADB okay link so just throw that link to install the app and once you have installed the app click on um, open okay 
um, agree. So what you want to do here is tap on the plus icon at the top right hand side. So tap on this. Okay. Now the IP address of your Wi-Fi network that you noted down earlier, you need to copy and paste it here. Okay. So I'll just paste mine. And tap on connect if you see a notification here so just scroll down as you can see it says allow debugging to so go down um, tap on always allow for this computer did I get that right okay let's wait for classic we now connect to the board jugger app okay so once connected you should see at the top here where it says um, connected device you can see here this is the IP address of my Wi-Fi network okay so tap on the plus icon at the top uh, of the app to so tap on it and it says let epic file tap on ok and as you can see the app switch downloaded initially we are going to be installing the watch4.shm so tap on it now one thing you should know is that this can take a little while so what you need is to ensure that your Wi-Fi network is stable and you just have to wait for this to finish installing the app on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. The app has finished installing on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. If you have any problem installing the app, what you want to do from the board jogger um, app is tap on the three dots here, okay? And you want to go to where it says um, restart uh, ADB server, okay? So restart ADB server and this will turn back to no device connected. So now come back again and tap on this plus icon with plug on it. So you try again to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Once you've connected to the Wi-Fi network, you should see your IP address at the top here. Okay. So that way you can now go ahead and tap on the plus icon here and select the file to install. Just in case if this didn't go just the way it's supposed to go. So guys, the Samsung Health Monitor app has been installed on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here and I'll just swipe up and I'll go to the bottom here. As you can see, this is the modified version of the Samsung Health Monitor, okay? And um, just in case, if you find yourself in a country where this is supported, you should note that the modified version has this M um, at the top here. Okay, so you should use that to differentiate between the, the official one and this modified version of the app. Okay, so now guys, we have successfully installed the modified version of the Samsung Health Monitor on both our phone and on the watch. Okay. So guys, to complete the process, we need to turn off ADB debugging. You need to do this, otherwise it is going to impact on your battery life. And so to turn off ADB debugging, we just go back again to settings and you go straight to um, developer options, okay? Like we did before, tap on it, and then we go to ADB debugging and turn it um, off. So first of all, we go to debug over Wi-Fi and turn it off, okay? And we come back to ADB debugging and turn it off. And then we, we come back here, okay? And we can go back to um, about watch, go to software and uh, tap on software version multiple times okay to turn off um, developer option good so we've turned off developer option so when you come back here you shouldn't see developer option anymore now you can go back to the connection section here and um, turn things back to normal because your phone and watch communicate mainly via bluetooth so i'm going to turn on uh, bluetooth okay and um Bluetooth is turned on and I will go back again. If you wish, you can turn off um, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn this off since I'm not making use of it. So I'll just go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi. So guys, that completes the process, okay? You need to turn off ADB debugging. It is very important. Otherwise, this is going to impact on the battery life of your watch. So guys, to set up the Samsung Health Monitor app, I'll just tap on this um, app here and it will open up the app, okay? 
and now you need to accept to the privacy policy and terms of use so type on accept you need to enter your first name your last name date of birth and um, your gender so go ahead and do that i'm gonna just look this up go to the app at the bottom and tap on it it says i'm um, allow samsung get monitor to assess this which is the one you have on your phone okay so i'll go with ecg first since i've not calibrated and block pressure okay it says do not interpret or take um, clinical action based on samsung health monitor measurements without first consulting the qualified healthcare professional so you heard all that correctly so guys let's go ahead and tap on okay it says rest your finger lightly on the top button which is here So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.